on our next problem, it says the equation of a circle is given by this great big polynomial. I want to state the coordinates of the circle centered in the, in the radius, and I want to graph the equation. In other words, I want to put it in the form of x minus h, the quantity squared. Oh, I got to make a perfect square plus y minus k, the quantity squared, equals r squared. Well, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to collect my x's and my y's, and I'm going to move that 40 to the opposite side. So I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides. So I'm going to say x squared plus 8x. Well, that looks familiar. We just did that. Leave a blank to complete the square plus y squared minus 14y, leave a blank to complete the square, equals negative 40. Now, we're going to complete the square. So on our first one, I'm going to take half of 8. I don't know. Put my parentheses in the wrong spot. Let's do that again. I'm going to take half of 8, and I'm going to square that. Half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. I'm going to add 16. Now, I can't just magically add 16 to one side. I better add it to the other side. So now we added 16 to both sides. Now we're going to do the same thing with the y. So I'm going to take half of negative 14 and I'm going to score that half of negative 14 is negative 7 squared is 49 so I'm going to add 49 to both sides now that I've got a perfect square I can factor that so if I look at just my x's, the square root, or to factor that, I get x plus 4 squared. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 16 is 4. Notice we had the 4 right here. That's where I get my 4 from. Now my next part will be plus y, and it'll be my middle term is negative. Notice I had a negative 7 right here, so it would be y minus 7 squared. Now, if I add the rest of them together, I get 25. Now I've got the equation of the circle. Notice h is negative 4 because it's x minus h. k is 7 because it's y minus k r squared is 25, or r is 5. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to graph that. So first off, I'm going to find my center, negative 4 and up 7. Then I'm going to go to 5 as my radius. So I think the easiest is to go right, left, up, and down. So if I go to the right 5, up 5, well, that puts me off the graph, barely. To the left 5, and down 5. Then draw your circle. That was not a very good circle. Let's try that again. There we go. Not quite what I need it to be, but I'm pretty darn close. There we go. Now, to solve a system of equations with a circle, we are just going to look at this graphically. You're not going to, I'm not going to make you do this algebraically. So just graph both of these in Desmos. 
or on your graphing calculator, but Desmos is probably the easiest. So we'll use Desmos. So x squared plus y squared equals nine. Let me throw out the stuff here that I'm not needing. And let me open up my Desmos app. And the nice thing about Desmos, you can just type that in x squared plus y squared equals 9. There is my equation, my circle. My other line is y equals x minus 2. I guess I could make you do this by hand, but we'll use Desmos. And the nice thing about Desmos, it gives us a little bit more accurate because these are not going to be no nice numbers. So, um, 2.9 and 0 0.9 is one intersection point. And the other intersection point, because it's a squared, you might have two, or you might have none, or you might have one if it's tangent. Negative 0.9. and negative 2.9. And there's your answer. Ooh, back and forth quite a bit there.